What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. We're going to be checking out eFootball on PC. A lot of you have been asking me for that, but we're going to be actually looking at an edited version of the game on PC, an edited version of eFootball. So as you can see here, you've got all the logos, the badges. We're going to have a look at the kits in just a second. There's a couple of things, right? Obviously, this is on the PC version of the game. There is no edit mode in the console version of the game at the moment or, of course, on mobile. So, for example, you can import any logos or badges that you see here. And again, shout out to Kara as well for getting me these clips. Uh, that's why some of the names are in Spanish or the language is in Spanish. You can't, as of now, change the generic team name. So it's still going to be Crystal Palace RB or Liverpool R rather than just like Liverpool, you know what I mean? Or Manchester United, Manchester City um, and stuff like that, right? So there is a couple of things still there to be done with it. But I thought that this video would be nice to just give an example and to kind of give a teaser as to what edit mode might eventually look like, right? Because if edit mode does come to eFootball, I think it would transform the creative side of the game. As you can see there, you've got the jacket logo, you've got the shorts logo for Liverpool, you're going to have the lettering, the fonts. It just looks a lot better. It just looks a lot cleaner, it looks a lot more realistic. Even the lighting looks better with the, with the badges and the, and the non-generic jackets and shorts and stuff like that. Um... And even the presentation, while the colors are still a little bit gaudy, obviously, you know, on PC, you're going to have a lot more options, whether it's, you know, Red Dead Redemption, or it's GTA, or it's Fallout, or it's Skyrim, or it's whatever game that you can mod. Like, there's a huge modding scene on the PC. But within edit mode itself, edit mode has just been such a massive, massive, massive part of the PES franchise. It hasn't gone over yet, or it hasn't been brought into the eFootball franchise just yet. But, like, when I think of older PES games, I'm talking, like, PES 5, PES 4, all the way to PES, you know, 13, PES 18, PES 20. Like, editing the game, man, was just super fun. You could customize your entire experience. Yes, you could have the, the jerseys here that look the kind of the, the authentic jerseys. But also, it's about customizing your own game. Adding your friends' jerseys. If you had a Sunday League team, you could create that team digitally, put it into the game, and play your dream team with it. That is the potential of it there. And it would also, you know, translate... To have and once you had the images in, once you have the images uh, imported or you'd have the images edited, right, whether it's badges, logos, kits, it would show up in all menus, hence why it's shown up here in Dream Team on PC where people are able to play with this, right? So as I said, it's just kind of a sample size. I know a lot of people that have jumped onto eFootball in the last two to three years mightn't even really know what edit mode was. So we're going to show you what edit mode looked like in PES 2021, but again, my memories of edit mode Yes, creating, you know, the, the real teams or, you know, creating Manchester City's kits or United's kits or Real Madrid's kits or Tottenham's kits or Atletico Madrid's kits and the badges and having it look really, really nice. Yes, like that is obviously a huge part of it. Messi's looking slick here. That was a huge part of it. But for me, edit mode was all about customizing my own experience, you know, with stadiums, managers, faces, you know, having that master league or that career mode experience customized. So maybe it was like creating myself and playing it myself up front in Manchester United's team as a bit of banter and having my real face in the game. There was just a lot of options that you could do. So as I said, this is PES 2021 on console. This is the PS5 version of PES 2021. And these edit mode, the edit mode was like when you were using edit mode, they were called option files. So when you applied an option file, this is before applying an option file. You've got just the generic Real Madrid kit or before you used edit mode or before you like edited the game. You had just the generic experience, but then you could edit pretty much everything about the, the team and the squad, the squad data, the squad numbers, the player faces. You could create youngsters or create young, uh, you know, uh, wonderkins that were able to come in and like have a real face and stuff like that. Obviously, the more detail that you put into it, the better if you wanted to. But it looked and it kind of transformed the game. You've got Ancelotti in there. You've got obviously the Real Madrid kits, um, home and away, goalkeeper and third. So that's just kind of like a sample as what it looked like, right? But this is what it looks like in-game on eFootball currently on the PC um, with this file. As I said, you can check out the description below. And shout out to Kara for getting me some of these clips. But yeah, I mean, this is kind of just, as I said, a sample of what it looks like, right? Do I think edit mode is going to come soon? It's kind of a hard question to answer, really, because I do feel as if... I think Pez has been, like, such... PES was such a huge franchise for a lot of us. I mean, I grew up with ISS 64 and then onto the, you know, Pro Evolution series and the PES series and now the eFootball series. Like, I literally have been playing PES games or Konami football games, so to speak, 
since ISS 64, which is going back, you know, more than 20 years, you know, which is crazy, like more than 20 years, like 25 years plus. Um, so it is kind of crazy to think that the game has changed so much from when I was a youngster and when I was a kid going all the way up to right now, you know what I mean? When I'm in my mid thirties, like it's, it's changed so much. The franchise has changed so much. There's no disputing now that the game is super, super, super financially successful and they're making lots of money. But I do think that with edit mode, I think the ability just to be able to customize your own kits, like have your own designs in it. Like, you know, I'd be able to design a team and maybe my, my jersey is modeled on collar or maybe my sponsor is like, you know, collar movies or collar industries or something like that. And I have the badge and the logo upgraded or updated instead of standard chartered. We have got collar industries or collar movies or whatever it is that we could create our own custom kits. I think that would add a lot of fun to Dream Team if you could customize your experience. You know, maybe be able to customize different things going forward with it. Customize your stadium that as your team grew and developed and you go from division four to five or five to three or three to two or up to division one, you're able to add different stuff like maybe like boards on the side, the advertisement boards, you could advertise different things. It would just be class, man, if you could import that. You know, imagine me being able to import a thumbnail of my YouTube video into the ad boards so that when somebody is playing it online, they're seeing that ad board or being able to contact somebody and say, listen, I can advertise your game here. Just a lot of different things outside of the box, man, that they could do, right? Because I do think that the game looks pretty nice, man. When you've got a real player face or you've got the real player face scan here, the game looks pretty decent. And even from a couple of these clips here, the game looks pretty decent. So let me know what you guys think. As I said, I tried to fit in as much as I possibly could just to kind of showcase what the game looked like and what the guys over on PC are doing to be able to edit it. Obviously, it's not available on console. It would have to be an edit mode added to console to be able to do this, the same way as edit mode was added to the PES franchise. But as I said, man, I just uh, I just wanted to show you guys this. A lot of people have been asking me about the PC version of the game. I genuinely, lads, I just don't have time at the moment. You know, work is super, super busy for me at the moment. I don't have time just to kind of like, you know, do any PC content on it. I will try and do an Xbox slash PC stream around Christmas time when I'm freed up a little bit. But let me know what you guys think of this. Do you think it looks like infinitely better? Are you bothered about it? Did you know that edit mode existed in the PES franchise? Are you a new fan to the football series and didn't really play PES? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And if you'd like to see any more content on PC. Talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.